Hello everyone, um, today we're going to basically cover custom blocks. So, a custom block. Uh, using our models and texture maps from our last tutorial um, with Techni, we're going to make a light source that hangs on the ceiling that um, will turn on and off. Um, this is our last block tutorial, and next we'll be moving on to items. So let's get started. Eef. I just thought of something. I'm going to pause the video here and I have to do something with uh, make a item for the um, light on and light off. Alright, so I'm back and we're going to continue. So, um, we have our new three textures here. We have one for our item which will place the, um, uh, the block. We'll have one for the block off and the block on. Alright, so we're going to click OK. We want to select the red, um, the red X. We're going to choose the lock light off block. I'll choose that. And now we need custom on our render type and then we're going to choose our light off texture map and now we're going to import the model so we need light off and because my name in Techni was the same as what I exported it and I didn't rename it anything else I can use this and I can copy it and I can paste it here and this is what I meant um, when I said it will be asking for the exact same as in your Techni or the name of your same as your model and your name in Techni. So I usually turn this to zero. And next. And if you don't know what all this is, um, I suggest looking at the um, basic block tutorial. Um, covers most of it. Well, all of it. <laughs> we'll leave that for now. Now this is going to be a longer tutorial. I forgot something to do. Uh, back. Alright, so that remains besides you. I'd go zero point. Zero point three or no, 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 uh, seven. Oh, 
we'll do th three and see if that is the right size. I don't know. I'm going seven. I have a hunch. We'll see if that works. Okay, we're good there. Good there. We're going to leave that for now. I'm not going to add a recipe. And I'm just going to quickly make the um, light on. And I'll be back. Alright, so now we're, that we're back, we're going to make the tool, because the item isn't really best suited for it, but if we make a tool, it um, it just works that way, so. Um, And I'll cover all this in the tool t tutorial. Um, we're not quite there yet, though. So all you need to know is name it and choose special. And then you want to set this to one and next and then go when right click on block and then what you want to do is add block and then go well for this this one because we're going um, making it a ceiling light we're going to tell it to go negative one but if you want it to be placed on top of a block you would go plus one and so on and we're going to choose that one, our light off texture, and add. Then we're going to go up and damage item, and we're going to tell it to damage it twice. And next, and now we're going to make a crafting recipe. Something like Two glass and one iron will get you four lights. Sounds good. Sounds like a good deal. All right, and finish. And I will be back. All right, so I. Uh, tested it and it well first thing is the model is a little bit crooked and could have used a little bit more time to work on but we're not going to do that um, next thing is we need to set up the events so it will turn on and off so we're going to start with our block off and this could actually go to point point three, I think. Three would be good. And next, actually back, I'm going to go point four. And we don't want it to provide light because it's our light off. And we're going to set drop as, or doesn't drop self. And then we're going to go and select our tool. 
And I just thought of something that it will kind of be like an infinite cycle and you can renew and get more and more lights, but that's okay. If you were to fix that, you could tell only make it so you're crafting one light uh, instead of four lights. Um, and all this is good. That's good. And when block right clicked, we're going to tell it to remove the block. Uh, leave it at the cords that it is. And oh, oh. Then we're going to tell it to add a block. We're going to tell it to add block on. And that's all there is to it. And finish. And now we're going to go into our block on and edit element. And we're going to change that to 0.4 and tell it to drop the tool. And then tell it to remove block, add block, and light off. And that is the block form. Add event. And we'll just wait for this. Okay, and next. And we don't need a crafting recipe. And next. Alright, so basically what we just did. We made our block off and block on block. We made the item that will place the block and then we told it okay well it's placing a block now we need to tell the block to update each other so we when we right click on the block off it will turn it on and when we right click on the block on it will turn it off and when we destroy it it will drop our tool so that's what it did and um seems a little bit complex but it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it uh, alright so I will see you in game alright so we're back and we're in game and I have a little test thing up here uh, it's probably a little hard to see but once we place the light off with our tool now and then right click it it will light up the uh, the ceiling um, and when we right click it off and it will turn off so now to show you that make sure I'm not going to die anywhere I'll just go up here So when we, oh, son of a... I had to. <laughs> um, so when we right clicked it, obviously damaged. Um, that was because we... Hmm. That's a good question. Um, why did it do that? First off, I'm going to get some light in here. All 
Alright, well, um... It will have to do with the item. So, let's go take a look at the item. Okay, so we're looking at the item now. So, number of uses. This is why. Um... So, we told it to be used once, but crafted supposed to give me it four times. Um, anyways, and it will be able to craft once. Um, so, that's basically it. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.